Welcome back. So uh, this is uh, part two, video number two of a series of uh, videos that will uh, show the uh, steps for designing a, a USB to serial um, converter using the FTDI uh, chip. In this video, uh, we will go through uh, the process of uh, downloading and installing uh, CariCAD uh, PCB Route tool, uh, download and, and uh, place in the right uh, folders um, some um, uh, component libraries specifically from uh, spark fun and uh, we'll uh, look at a couple of design considerations that we we'll want to consider uh, uh, while designing our converter and we'll actually start talking about that uh, i have here uh, downloaded the um, uh, data sheet uh, of um, this ftda chip uh, and uh, uh, what i would like to do is to just uh, jump to section uh, 6.4 uh, because this is uh, where uh, the data sheet shows uh, how exactly uh, this chip uh, would need to be uh, used in order to uh, with the help of a jumper uh, have this uh, FTDI uh, chip work uh, and give us 3.3 uh, uh, or 5 uh, volt um, at, at the output of our converter so that we will be able to um, program and, and, and talk with other devices that support this USB to serial um, uh, communication uh, protocol working at any of those two uh, voltage levels. Uh, we will select uh, like for example on this particular um, uh, converter uh, the level that we would like to work uh, with uh, using a uh, simple uh, jumper uh, shown uh, over here. Another thing that uh, the data sheet uh, uh, show us uh, on a section or two uh, later on is how exactly uh, would one uh, need to uh, also include two LEDs uh, to have them uh, light up uh, when the converter receives or uh, transmits data and that is a very useful uh, visual indicator uh, pretty much most of the converters and uh, devices out there that, that um, use UART uh, peripherals devices uh, have such uh, LEDs uh, another thing that I wanted to have um, uh, is um, uh, a couple of additional outputs of our converter in addition to just uh, TX, uh, RX uh, and uh, VCC and, and, and ground uh, and uh, we'll want to do that as shown in this um, section of the data sheet 7.4 uh, in order to keep this uh, video presentations rather short I will not go into too, too many uh, details uh, I will leave it up to you to go and, and read a little bit into the sections of this uh, data sheet and uh, not, not too uh, difficult to go through and, and get an idea uh, but essentially uh, we wanted to have uh, more uh, outputs that you typically see uh, on, on um, converters such as uh, this so those are uh, the design considerations that uh, I would want to keep in mind while uh, creating our schematic diagram uh, later on uh, now but to get there uh, we will need to download and install uh, a PCB Route um, uh, software under D1. So we'll be using uh, uh, KiCad uh, for uh, creating our uh, PCB Layout. Uh, this is a free uh, PCB Layout software which can be downloaded from uh, KiCad. Uh, this has uh, become a very popular uh, layout tool. Uh, I know companies and have seen professional grade uh, PCB layouts out there that uh, look really really great so uh, it's a very powerful very strong uh, PCB layout tool and we'll uh, use this one primarily because it is uh, free so just go ahead select your own operating system download it and uh, so I have uh, downloaded uh, uh, KiCad and I uh, have it installed um, not in the um, uh, default uh, C program files KiCad but uh, in my uh, uh, local partition here uh, under uh, KiCAD uh, 6.0. Now there is one uh, more last thing that uh, we need to do uh, which is to go and uh, download 
uh, SparkFun uh, KiCad libraries, uh, which are gonna use uh, for their symbols and uh, footprints. So go ahead uh, to this web address um, and uh, download uh, everything uh, by just uh, selecting code and download zip. Uh, bring it and uh, place it uh, under KiCad, uh, wherever you installed it. Uh, 6.0 share KiCad. Uh, have created a um, a new folder a new directory called libraries and modules of others uh, where i would be placing um, such libraries from from uh, uh, different providers in this case uh, right now i'll have only the uh, spark final library but uh, uh, you'll most likely bring in and place here uh, libraries from uh, digikey uh, mauser uh, for all sorts of components from different vendors uh, through ultra librarian or a um, EDA uh, snap or snap EDA uh, or uh, something like that. In any case, uh, I brought that zip uh, here. I unzipped it, and uh, you know to keep my uh, things here a little bit shorter as file names. So I'll remove that master, and, and I will just keep that. Uh, remove this. I don't need it anymore to save some space. And if you want to take a look here, you will see the footprints. Uh, symbols and, uh, and all that so uh, that is pretty much it I uh, will import these libraries uh, in the next video uh, one will be uh, using uh, the schematic entry so that's all in this uh, for, for this video uh, I'll see you in the next one